And I'm going to close with this. You know, let's go back to the story of Jesus. And I believe this is the point the Lord wants to drive home. Is that in all of our lives, there's very little, very, very little in the scripture about fathers. But the Bible was written to sons. There's very little that's written about how to be a good parent. But there's so much written about how to be a good son, daughter. Because I believe the reason the scripture is written this way is that in the end of the day, the journey is mine. It's not based off of my dad. It's not based off of my mom. It's not based off of my spiritual parents. All their job is to do the very best that they can do. And in some cases, it's not great because maybe they had bad parents and bad parenting and they really just didn't know. Their job was simply to do the best thing, the best that they could do. And then it's my job to go and find my true father my job and that's jesus did so they go and do the census and and they you know they walk their way back home and they're let's say they're halfway home and they realize oh shoot we forgot jesus again and they march their way back and they find jesus in the temple and they say jesus like what are you doing and jesus says where did you think i was where did you think i was i was doing the work of my father and as i read this i laughed at myself because it never occurred to me that Jesus was in the temple selling tables and chairs. <laughs> How many of you have read that and were like, that's really weird that he would pick the temple to sell tables and... We, we know that. That's not what he's talking about. This was an 11, 12-year-old boy. He already made the transition and realized, Dad, I love you, But you were never meant to take me where I was supposed to go. It's never been your job. That's why Jesus at the age of 12 said, I'm doing my father's work. And you realize Joseph didn't be like, you know, what do you mean? Like, I'm your dad. I raised you. Who do you think changed your diaper? Okay. That's actually the last time we hear about Joseph. Because I believe at that point, Joseph was done. His fatherly obligation to Jesus was done because he brought him back to his true father. And I believe today that's what God is doing this morning. Is he's wiping away everything that's gone before. Because listen, I'm not this morning trying to belittle or make it seem like the things that you've gone through or went through weren't real. I don't mean by, you know, I, I, you know, I had a great upbringing and I understand that and, and I know that some people didn't and I'm not sitting here trying to make it seem like, you know, oh, it, it, it doesn't matter. That's not what I'm trying to do. What I'm trying to say is that that stuff has no power over our future. All the times he should have been there and wasn't. All the things he did that he shouldn't have done. Those things stop today.